Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on adverbs. This is for unit 11 from the Go Grammar series book number 2. An adverb adds meaning to a verb, adjective or another adverb. An adverb modifies a verb, adjective or another adverb. An adverb is used with a verb to tell us how, when, where and to what extent something happened. We often look at these in terms of looking at manner, time, place and degree and we'll see examples down here. The first one reads, the boy ran slowly, this is manner. We will go tomorrow, this describes when, so time. She searched everywhere, this is looking place. The room was decorated more richly than any they had seen. So this is degree. And so is this last one. The room is too hot. Now that we've been through the descriptions, let's have a look at some of the activities. For this one here, question number one, add appropriate adverbs to complete the following sentences. And the example reads, the thief ran away from the police. So here we have the skier shrieked something as they headed towards the cliff. So desperately would be a good response to pop in there. For the next one, the next sentence, the children reacted something to the fairy tale. And in this instance we could have something like hysterically. Moving on to activity number two, it asks that you underline the five adverbs in the following paragraph from the newspaper article. So let's read the first bit and see if we can identify the first one. The vast majority of packed preschools lunches are stored unsafely. Now unsafely is our first adverb. So it's asked us to underline them, so that's what we've done with that first one. See how you go trying to identify the remaining four adverbs. Question number three. As you can see, we're just filling in the table. Many adverbs can be formed by adding the ly to an adjective. Um, form adverbs from the following adjectives. In some cases you may need to change Y into I or drop an E before adding the LY. And we've got examples here. For the first one, if we had careful, it ends in the L and we change that to carefully. So we just add the LY. If we've got immediate, then we just add the LY to make it immediately. So check which rule you need to use before you write your words into your boxes provided. For question number four, it provides some more information about the rules here. When you add ly to adjectives to make adverbs, it is sometimes necessary to adjust the spelling. In the table, arrange the following adverbs into three groups according to their spelling, and then write a statement for each group explaining what happens when you add ly to form the adverb. So in order to help you, I've provided you with one example from each column. In the first column, we would put words like beautifully, and you have to work out what rule is applied at the end when you add the LY. For our second group, admirably. So we've got um, a different rule attached there, so make sure you work out what is achieved when we go from being the, the base word admire, and when we t change that to admirably, what's the spelling rule that's been used? For the third one, our base word is angry and it becomes angrily. We've had to change the spelling of this a little bit as well. 
you have to work out what the remaining rule is. And you can write that in the lines that are provided. For our last activity, the take it further, there's a little more information for you to read through, but the question itself requires you to complete each sentence below with a suitable adverb from the list above. So we've got lots of ones here to choose from. If we have a look at this first sentence, he was a something talkative child, and we've been asked to use a word that describes a degree. So it would be most, quiet, rather, to or very. In this case, it's either very or most. Both would be appropriate. For the next sentence, they took the money to the bank, and we want to have a word that qualifies the time. So we'll use either soon, yesterday, today, tomorrow, or later. Yesterday would probably be the most appropriate response there. Pretty easy. You shouldn't have any troubles with those. Don't forget that there is more than one possible response for a few of the sentences. Good luck with the activities. This has been an ETV production brought to you by Prendival Catholic College.